if you want to join in on an awesome teacher book study this summer then just keep on watching Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Soy from the Class Sassy Light. This summer I am facilitating a teacher's book study on Facebook. I'm going to be starting my second year in first grade and one of the things that I reflected on this year uh, was my guided reading area. It needed some help. Um, I purchased this book last year in October. Unfortunately, during that time, I was in school and overwhelmed and it just started collecting dust. But I knew this summer with my plate um, emptying out because I am almost done with school. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I knew that I wanted to dig into this book. Well, I decided to start a book study and lo and behold, it has become um, pretty popular in the past two days. I started the book study group on Facebook on Sunday and the last time I checked, we had well over 1,200 members in our group. And to some, that may not be a lot, but to me, that's a lot. And I'm appreciative to all the people who are joining on with me to study this particular book. And that book is Jan Richardson's The Next Step to Guided Reading. Okay, so I know you've seen this book before. Um, there may have been some book studies done on it before, but we're going to delve into it together. I want to really get into this book and pull out tons of information. I will also be pulling resources from Teachers Pay Teachers, probably all free resources. I will possibly have to create some resources of my own and so we're going to all take that journey together. So before I get into the full schedule, let me first tell you a few little things. If you are not following me on Instagram, please make sure that you're doing that. There's a link down below. And for those who don't know, I am the Classy Sassy Teacher. Um, in addition to that, I have a link for the Facebook group. It is so important, guys, that you go ahead and join our group today or before Saturday because on Saturday if you have not been approved by 8 p.m. Central Standard Time Saturday you will not be able to join our group. I will however share um, my resources and YouTube videos and things like that but all of the deep conversations and discussions that we're going to be having in the group will not be public. I want us to um, feel comfortable and really dig into it. And I don't want to have to constantly um, keep people up to date because you're joining in late. Um, depending on how this book study goes, this is something that may become an annual event for me. Um, so just keep um just keep following me and we'll see and i'll definitely um post how it went at the end in a separate youtube video so that is out of the way let's talk about the price When I purchased this book in October of 2018, this book was $41 for this as well as the teacher companion. They came together for $41. I thought that was a great deal at the time because this book was $31 by itself. So pay 10 extra dollars and get both and this book alone is 17 so I felt like I saved a couple of dollars and I got a great resource and this will have its own separate discussion so we'll talk about that later well when I posted this link the other day both of these um, were $48 and the book alone was 31 well when I checked it again today just to verify the price on the companion both the um, bundle together has gone up to $68 this is not a requirement okay this is not a requirement i'm going to say that again we are focusing on this particular book all right however you choose to obtain this book is your decision however if you purchase it from amazon i'm going to post a link for the book alone as well as the book and the teacher's companion but 
I would only purchase this book at this current time because it's ridiculous that it has increased and, and it hasn't even been a year. So I've said my little rant, so let's get into what our schedule is going to be. All right, so let's get into our schedule. I decided to do a combination of YouTube videos and Facebook Live videos for this book. When I posted the poll, a lot of people prefer just to have a YouTube video and then a just a chat session in our um, group. However, I found that a lot of people like the live discussion, but um, when you do Facebook lives or anything live, it's hard to accommodate everybody. So I decided to do a combination of um, both of them. So you will get a YouTube video every single week on Tuesday. Every other week, you will get a YouTube video and we will do a Facebook Live. But these are the two days that I am going to be creating the post for um, our discussions. So on Sundays, you will have a Q&A post that will go live. What questions did you have? What were you struggling with? Um, what do you think is going to be difficult to implement about this particular chapter? Um, or you can just post some insight, things that you didn't know, things that you can't visually see in your mind and you want to know how those things can be implemented in your classroom. Whatever questions you have, and you know we say this as teachers all the time, there is never a dumb question, guys. If you have it, ask it because somebody else may be scared too. I don't know why we're teachers. We know how it goes, but sometimes, you know, we bite our tongue. We're like, well, I probably should know this, so I'm not going to ask ask guys because either somebody is too afraid to say it or somebody may not have even thought about it so your questions are valid they are important please ask them okay i am going to pull the q a questions from our facebook post and i will also do an insta story to allow you to um, ask questions there as well so if i have people who favor instagram over facebook it will be posted there on sundays as well 9 a.m sundays our q a posts are going to go live on both my instagram story and our facebook group on Tuesday mornings at 9 a.m., I am going to post a YouTube video. So this video will, um, I will talk about the main um, points from that chapter. I will talk about um, my thoughts, my ideas. I will answer those questions and I will provide you with any resources that I found online. And I'm gonna try my best to make sure they're free. Um, but if I have to create any resources or things like that, if I don't have enough time to get that uploaded on Tuesday, I will provide you guys with um, some resource links in a separate um, Facebook post. So, like I said, on Tuesdays at 9 a.m., you will receive my thoughts, um, my summarization of the chapters, answers to our Q&A, and I may also um, pose some questions for you guys so that we can make this book work for us. All right, so we have our Sundays and we have our Tuesdays. On those days, we will do an additional discussion where we can talk with each other, we can chat with each other. So a lot of people um, said the biggest issue with Facebook Lives, you can't focus on the presenter because of how busy the chat is. So um, this one is basically just a discussion Facebook Live. So I won't be presenting anything as much as we are just going to be talking and chit-chatting and you, your focus needs to be on the chat room. And that's where mine will be as well. So this way we can still have that um, back and forth, but, but it's a little bit faster than just posting questions and waiting on somebody to answer or posting your response and, and seeing if anybody felt the same way. So that way you will know right then. So this way we can have a little bit of both worlds. So right here in front of us is our schedule. 
the dates indicate the chapters that you should have read by then. So don't start reading um, the introduction in chapter one on June 16th. You need to have them already read by June 16th, okay? So once you've read it, write down your questions. The best thing I can tell you um, to prepare for this study is to have a few things. So you want to have a notebook, your study book, some sticky notes, and a pen. That's all you need. Now, if you like to highlight, you need one of those too. But I don't want to highlight in my book. I want it to stay nice and neat. So I'm just going to play sticky notes throughout my book. Um, and I'm going to um, jot down notes, um, sketch out resources, write down my own questions. And that way we can have deep conversation without it being overwhelming. So my final thoughts, this book is a very easy read. This is not something that is going to take up a lot of your time. So take a few minutes every day to read through a couple of pages or pick a day, read through it, write down and notate your questions, and then um, put your questions in a in your notes app or in your um in your Google Drive, on your on a Word document, on your phone, write down your questions there, um, jot down your notes in there, and that way you will. Um, it'll be easier for you to just copy and paste those into the Q and A section, and it won't be taking up a lot of time. Well, it's important, guys, that you don't let this overwhelm you. This is not meant to cause stress. This is not meant to feel like work. This is meant to um, help us be better. We are educators. We never stop learning. If you are not subscribed to my channel, you're going to miss out on all the book study information. So make sure you click that red subscribe button and you can also click that bell so you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks so much for watching. Keep God first in everything you do and remember to teach with lots of class and sass. Bye guys.